People, my people, welcome to the beer's knees. Not the bee's knees, though it does have honey in it. It's the beer's knees. Now, this is a very simple and unusual recipe for me. Well, I haven't tried one before, so let's go out how it works. I'm using a Navy Strength Gin. The recipe itself calls for just gin. Um, basically, because I want to get to the end of a bottle. And it's been one of those weeks I've been a busy man, tired. So... The recipe is very simple, but you all can obviously adapt it. So if you want a good solid punch at the end of it, you know, being one of those weeks where at the end of it you've got that choice of uh, digging holes in your backyard and stabbing people or drinking one of these, that you're choosing to drink one of these. Now, the one essential ingredient that is missing so far, I haven't done them yet, is ice. So what we're going to do is prepare everything in a glass. Ta-da! Recipe says that I can I tip my gin in, sound of happiness. Tip that in. Making sure I've got all this wonderful stuff. Reminds me, put put some used navy on the shopping list. I would add a bit of honey, which I'll do with my muddling stick. So, and as with all my recipes, you're big enough people. I think that how sweet you want it to be is really up to you. Um, and it says for about an oh, ounce or two of lemons. But to find out if I've got cuts on my hands. So I have sliced up some lemons. Now using my hands to squeeze them. Now what it says is that I mix this until the honey is well and truly dissolved. And this is about the only glass inside my house that will actually take a um, entire beer can. So the gin is out of another wedding, the beer is out of Marabin. I went shopping today, or oh, shopping yesterday for a beer, Pilsner, and there's an awful lot of hazy parallels on the market in Melbourne, and a lot, of, a lot of Pilsners. So what I'm going to do now is use all this beautiful ice. But it's not true that I have any large ice cubes in my house. I do have small ones. Some of which just been skating across my kitchen floor. One moment, let me go and retrieve it. So the ice has been retrieved. No one has slipped on it yet. I'm going to use this sucker up. And what I do is I pop my two brothers' Pilsner. Join a street in Rabin. Thank you very much. Go there if you want really good beers. I recommend their Kung Fu, which goes really well with their pizza. So add this baby in. Hopefully not spilling it. And then I gently stir it. All the honey's made it off. Oh, yes, it has. Sorry, it's only me. Just simply the colour of my own muddling stick. This looks like a beer's knees. Oh, yeah. Very refreshing. I'm going to add a bit more of this beer to it. And I will go and test drive it. And remember, Charlie, pass the other half. And the good news is, this, the beer's knees, the only recipe so far that I've made that has a beer in it, plus some used navy strength. I had to use that one up. Two brothers, 
Paxi Pilsner, some lemon juice, and some pure honey. This is supposed to be a yellow box, but it's pure honey as I bring it into it. So there's your beer's knees. There is going to be a lot of beer-based cocktails over this winter because basically I think that we should drink beer in winter and we should drink gin in winter. And this is the combination of two beautiful loves. I can see just beautiful creations happening. Thanks for watching. So hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned.